So the Stevens Creek Capture Facility is designed as a tool for, for removing animals when the interagency group decides we need to remove bison from the population. So this last annual cycle we got together, did a population estimate of 4,900. All of the agencies agreed that we needed to remove 800 to 900 animals. So in that uh, management strategy, um, we agreed that since hunting is the primary removal mechanism and we've never removed more than 300 animals in any given year through hunters um, in, in a field killing animals and, and uh, removing them that we would need to use the Stevens Creek facility to supplement that hunter harvest. So the hunter harvest goals for this winter were 400 to be removed and the Stevens Creek facility was uh, basically um, directed to remove about 500 animals and that was how we were going to try and reach our uh, removal of 900. So we're trying not to implement our capture program um, in a way that we eliminate hunting opportunities. So each day that we capture animals we make sure that there are plenty of animals uh, still migrating down valley leaving the park. Um, as far as I can remember this year um, every day that we put animals in the pen, um, either animals were harvested outside the park or there were animals available to harvest outside the park. Um, we try and do it as randomly as possible so we don't just go out and round up every single group. Um, we set the facility up, open the gates, and much like you catch other wildlife species, um, kind of wait for opportunities for animals to enter the trap and be, be closed into the trap. Um, uh, a couple of occasions uh, we've gone out and got behind a group out by the gates and pushed them in the trap um, just to kind of keep the process going. So the once the animals are in the facility they're caught in a variety of different paddocks that are off to the, to the left over here. Um, the animals are moved through the facility into this pen where you see the bison um, right over here. Um, we get up early in the morning, get out here at daybreak, and we move a group of 50 to 80 animals at a time into these uh, walled-in areas. Um, managing, handling wild animals is very stressful on the animals. And it's dangerous, so we try and you know keep it so that they can't see a lot of the other distractions. It's not uh, ideal for the animals, obviously, but it's, a, it's an attempt to minimize that stress as best we can. Um, we use the facility to collect demographic data. It's our best chance to get um, information on the makeup, um, age and sex and, um, of the animals in each group that comes through. Uh, this year I've been collecting some samples to um, try and validate a couple of genetic monitoring strategies as well. So, uh, in addition to that, uh, we collect a little bit of blood to monitor brucellosis infection status. So those are the primary data that we gather here at the trap. Uh, then we sort the animals and we've negotiated with I think it's five different tribal organizations. Uh, we've been utilizing two of them so far. Uh, I think another one of our tribal partners is going to take a group of animals tomorrow so probably we'll have um, worked with three different tribal organizations to uh, provide them with animals to feed their feed their tribes. Um, the animals leave the facility out the loading chute roughly 24 hours after they come into the Walden um, area. So they're not held in this particular holding facility for very long. Uh, we've got watering devices inside so they have water overnight. Um, and. Um, Basically, we keep track and report to the park management each week, you know, what our accomplishments are. Uh, thus far this winter, we've processed about 450 animals um, through the facilities.